Hello guys, in this video the most suggested and asked one, how to farm police station and where are all the boxes of it. Honestly police station is all about sneaky beaky like. You don't just go rambo unless you want to and you want to waste all your food for this location. I suggest bringing trucker's armor like the ones I'm wearing right now. I always bring hunter's shoes or survivor's shoes just if you want to escape those creeping fleshes or run away from dogs. But there's only two dogs which is in the backyard and at the front entrance at the bottom guarding 10 berry bushes. When you come to the police station just use two cars to win the dog. You can actually kill the dog to get its meat and skin but I avoid it because it takes long time to kill him and waste your food. Those 10 berries are very useful, 50 health points, so grab it. After you grab the berries, just leave the zone and enter again. When you face the first creeping flesh, you can easily avoid it by using the chairs. Then just go to the top and go exactly down the corridor. Follow basically what I do. I went just for the black box. When I entered police station, there are three total boxes in here. One tier, two box, down left in the police station. Two boxes in the bottom right and middle right. You should notice them if you did police station a couple times, especially the two boxes in the bottom right. But the hidden box is actually not worth it because it's not a black box and it has three creeping fleshes guarding the box. So I only get one black box which has the top and rarest loot in the game. Always go for black boxes only if you wanna do it fast. But anyway, police station isn't that hard but they actually even nerfed it in the nearest update they did the bunker update. They added more butchers in the police station so yeah it's kinda a little bit harder to do police station right now. But when you get to the mutant room just drag out enemies one by one. Do not kill them all together because that's going to cause some problems and you're gonna get crowded by zombies. Just drag one zombie one by one and you're gonna be fine. But when killing the mutant you can actually use ammo if you want to like a revolver with 9mm pistol bullets or self-made or even a shotgun with self-made pistol bullets. As long as you have the shotgun researched it's pretty good to use shotguns on anything basically because you know it's efficient. And shotguns aren't that expensive to craft they're pretty cheap. As long as you have it researched, it's pretty good. Researching items may take a while, but it's worth to research it a lot because crafting is really cheap. When you get to those locker rooms, make sure you loot the lockers. It contains triggers, metal scrap and research parts. It doesn't contain 20s and 50s of research parts, but it still adds up to your collection of the research parts, doesn't it? Still better to grab it, nothing won't happen. If there's a creeping flesh inside the room, screw it, don't get the lockers, go for the mutant. These creeping fleshes might cause problems, but a machete will destroy them. When you get to the mutant room, just simply drag the enemies out. You can even sneak through that creeping flesh in the mutant room, but I still sometimes kill it for the loot. Anyways, this is how you do the police station, guys. Thank you for everyone who watched this video. I hope you found it useful. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.